Hello and welcome to the Flat Relief Gold Club uh, YouTube channel for uh, uh, Captain Vice Captain's vlog this week. Just uh, catching up on some news around the place and events that have been going on. Um, we'll start from uh, the, the results from the last couple of weekends for the competitions. Um, the first of them being um, the pros tournament this year, which was uh, run by Simon um, and very, very well supported. Simon put a lot of effort into the, into the two day event and we had 161 entries into the uh, competition, which I think is fantastic. And I think Simon would like to thank everybody for their participation in the event. Um, there were lots of prizes uh, won on the day, um, but the main prize of the day was won by uh, Brian Adams with 41 points and um, obviously took a nice little prize from the day. Um, and fair play to Brian, well done. Uh, the main medal um, was last weekend. Division one winner was Simon Gaunt with a net 69. Division two was Chris Kuzak with a net 69. And division three, Mark Hitchin with a net 66 and was indeed the overall winner with that score. So uh, well played guys. There was a uh, 119 of of uh, members taking part in that so it's nice to see that the uh, the competitions are um, you know picking up pace now and people are getting their names down and getting out there and playing and getting used to their new handicaps <laughs> um, the next thing so well, we've got the Barnes and Lacey Cup coming up this weekend um, so there's still places available for that they're board competitions so um, you know get your names down and let's support this this weekend's events in the numbers that we've supported the last two um, you know, and see if you can get your name on the board to be uh, in eternity forever. Um, uh, coming up in the next few weeks, we're starting hopefully with the club matches. Um, we are due to play Winter Hill on Saturday the 22nd. Um, this will be the first of uh, our matches of the first two of the season uh, have hopefully be re re been rearranged for later in the year. Um, if you're interested in playing on in these, um, as we can't, you know, run the the paper entry sheets like we used to. We're now doing it online. So all you need to do is go on to the um, Flackwell Heath site, scroll down to competitions, uh, click on matches and all the club matches will appear and then just express your, or enter the matches that you're available for on there. Um, but if there's any questions on that, uh, please feel free to contact us, um, either in, in the pro shop um, or me or Paul directly. And if you want to get your names down and play, let's get it done and, um, you know, hopefully go and have a good few matches with some of the local sides. Um, just club news in general, uh, hopefully from the 17th of May we should be back, fingers crossed, to being able to offer a bit more bar service with some snacky foods and uh, beers inside, um, obviously all subject to Covid regulations, but we'll give you an update on this as soon as the club release uh, some official comments about it. Um, also, uh, Simon from the Pro Shop has let us know that all of the single cities of buggies have now been fitted with upgraded batteries. So um, I think there were some problems with some of these barely making the 18 holes, but this has all been taken care of now, he tells me. Um, as many of you have noticed, the work has commenced on the practice area. Um, and Turf Tonics have said there's a little bit of hold up um, with the acquisition of materials. Uh, I'm a, I think that's in general with a lot of things, not just in golf um, because of the current climate, but they still feel that they will be able to get it um, up and running by the end of the summer, which is good news. Um, they have said to us that they'd like to thank the members as uh, they've been um, noticed that there's not many pitch marks being left on the greens. So obviously we, you know, the guys are doing what you should be doing and repairing these as you go. Uh, they have asked us to mention though that trying to avoid trolleys going between the greens and the bunkers because they have noticed a little bit of wear to these areas that is actually being caused by, um, you know, the trolleys on these, these areas. So if you could take a little time um, just to go round and just look after these areas and um, that'd be much appreciated because obviously graft, growth, growth has been a bit slow at the start of the season because of uh, the cold weather. Um, upcoming events, um, obviously mentioned the Barnes and Lacey being a board competition. Now we're going to run the Pro-Am on the 23rd of June this year. The Pro-Am at Flackwell has always been a very good and very well supported BB&O event. Um, now we're looking for obviously to fill this with teams this year. 
entry forms are available from the pro shop and the office uh, if you want to get your teams in um, and also open to guests if you've got a WHS handicap if you want to play with one of the local pros um, you can you can put a guest team in um, all them rates you can get off of uh, the office um, but let's get up and support it It'd be nice to have the pro-am and a good chance to show the course off um, and also following that on the 20th June a date for the dyer is the captain's day um, and hopefully Paul will be putting on a good show for us that day um, you know come and play the course and enjoy it at a good time um, and stick that one in your diary uh, and for now that's it so like subscribe and hopefully we'll see you on the course very soon and watch this space for information thank you